All right, this is Dr. Allo. Today we're talking about blood clots. Now there's two kinds of blood clots. There's something we call a provoked blood clot and an unprovoked uh, blood clot. Provoked blood clots happen uh, for a reason. You'd say you were in a long car ride or an airplane ride and you didn't move your legs um, and you got a blood clot. That's called a provoked blood clot. Um, or you had surgery, you know, like knee surgery, hip surgery, something like that that, that may have provoked it. You're more likely to have blood clots when those things happen. Um, the other reason you may get a blood clot is uh, something called an unprovoked blood clot. Unprovoked blood clots are uh, blood clots that occur for absolutely no reason. Just one day you had a blood clot. You're not inactive, you're not, you didn't have surgery, you know, you didn't do anything, and you just got a blood clot. Um, there are certain risk factors that make you more, more, uh, more likely to have a blood clot, and those are obesity, uh, smoking cigarettes, um, being uh, on birth control pills, um, those things always uh, increase your likelihood um, of having a blood clot. So if you have um, one of these underlying genetic disorders, um, which we have to make sure you don't have, there's a lot of these things called hypercoagulable states or hypercoagulable genetic disorders. Some people have uh, genetic disorders that make them more prone to blood clots. And let's say you exacerbate it by smoking, by being obese, being inactive, going on a long flight, being on birth control pills, any of these things can trigger it. Um, and cause you to have a blood clot. Now, if it's completely unprovoked, you're not obese, you're not on birth control pills, you're very active, um, you don't lead a sedentary lifestyle, you don't smoke, you know, all that stuff, you don't do any of that stuff, and you suddenly had a blood clot, we need to know why. That's uh, a spontaneous blood clot for absolutely no reason. We need to do uh, blood testing on you, find out why you had this blood clot. We need to find out which genetic uh, disease you may have or which one you don't have. Very simple. Uh, uh, concept. Now even uh, females who are on birth control pills and obese and smoke, um, if they do have a blood clot, you still want to look for genetic uh, underlying hypercoagulable disorders because still there's lots of people that smoke, lots of people on birth control, lots of people that are obese and overweight, they don't have blood clots. So the, 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 the point here is you got to find out if you have one of these um, genetic disorders uh, or not. So how do you treat a blood clot? There's different kinds of blood thinners. I'll leave this up to your doctor. Um, to decide. You have the uh, age-old Coumadin, um, you have Xarelto, you have Pradaxa, you have Eliquis now. All of them are uh, medications that you can use for blood clots um, to treat them. If you have a provoked blood clot, let's say you had knee surgery and you got a blood clot, you need to be on uh, medication three to six months. Um, we can rescan you to make sure the blood clot went away. If you have an unprovoked blood clot, we obviously need to do some genetic testing, but you have to be on it at least six months, uh, if not more, and then we could rescan your legs and, and, and or wherever it is and find out uh, why you have it. Now, blood clots that are below uh, the knee or infrapopliteal, we call it, um, are less likely to travel to your lungs and, and give you a, a lung uh, blood clot, which could be deadly. Um, ones in your arms are also less likely to, to travel to your lungs. Um, the ones in superficial veins, like those varicose veins or even other superficial veins, less likely to travel to your lungs. Um, it's only the ones that are in the deep veins, those big, huge, deep veins that have a direct path to your heart that are more likely to travel to your heart and then end up in your lungs, giving you something we call pulmonary embolism or pulmonary blood clot, which could be deadly, um, uh, but those are treated uh, similar to clots. So I hope you learned something today. If you know somebody who's had a blood clot, subscribe to my channel, send this to them, share this with all your friends. I highly recommend we uh, get educated about blood clots so that we know what to do uh, and how to be treated and, and make sure that you know this isn't something that scares us. If you enjoyed this, subscribe and send this out to all your friends.